Good morning, boys and girls. Nice meeting you this morning. You are all welcome to Sunday school. I hope you had a lovely week. We are starting our Sunday school now. But before we start, hands together, close your eyes, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us together this morning to learn at thy feet. Father Almighty, we thank you for your protection over us. Write your ways in our hearts. Bless our parents. Bless our friends. Make us good boys and girls. Save so today. So that we'll be able to reign with you in heaven. Thank you for answering our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. We shall now listen to our friends. And they will sing some songs and play some musical instruments for us to start our lesson. Thank you for listening. God bless you. to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Psalms 95 verse 1. Good morning children. You are all welcome to primary pals class. Why do you think these children are singing? I have the joy, 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 joy. In my heart. Where? In my heart. Where? I have the joy, 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 joy down in my 
heart Done in my heart to stay I am so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I am so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart they are singing because they are happy to worship God. Singing is one of the ways by which we worship God. And this will now bring us to our lesson for today. Titled, Singing a Happy Song. And the Bible text is taken from Psalm 95 verses 1 to 3. Ebon will read that for us. Come. Let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Psalm 95 verse 1 to 3. Thank you, Ebu. God bless you for that good reading. Yes, singing a happy song. When we say singing, we sing with our voices. No matter good or bad, sing with your voices and God will be happy. That is why God gave us voices to sing, to praise him, to worship him, to adore him, to give him thanks. May his name be praised in Jesus' name. And this will now bring us to the lesson story about jenny who had a bird for a birthday gift and this bird was in a cage a canary bird and the bird sang a lot jenny was so happy to have this bird and jenny called the bird sunshine so jenny invited her friend larry to come and see sunshine but before they got to jenny's house Jenny's dad put the cage on top of Jenny's window where the bird can see other birds flying. But when Jenny and Larry got into the room, sunshine started singing and the children were so happy and excited when they heard the song. I said, sunshine was in a cage. So he's telling us no matter where we are. Whether at home, in church, at school, in the kitchen, in the toilet, we should sing unto the Lord. We should worship him. We should praise him. And God will be happy when we do that. No matter how big or how small, we should sing. Whether your voice is good or not, we should sing. When we sing unto the Lord, when we worship God with our voices, that is why God gave us the voices to worship him. God will be happy with us. Canary was in a cage. Canary did not look at the situation around. around. He kept singing to the children and the children were happy. So also we should keep singing no matter where we are. Look at Paul and Silas. They were in the prison. They were beating, they were in pain, they were bleeding in the prison. But they were praying, they were singing. Paul and Silas, they prayed, they prayed, they prayed, they sang. The Holy Ghost came down. Paul and Silas, they prayed, they prayed, they prayed, they sang. And the Holy Ghost came down. They prayed and they sang. They were happy. And God was happy with them and delivered them. What about David? In the field, he was playing his harp and singing unto God. He was happy and he was singing, worshipping God in the field. And God was happy with him. Children, we should always sing unto God. We should always sing unto God. God is happy when we sing. To worship him, to adore him, he is always happy. God is, it is good 
and pleasing to God when we sing unto him. And it is a good habit also to sing. Because when you are sad and you start singing, the sadness will fly away. May the Lord please come and help us to be, sing, to be a good singer. Our statement is, sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord. Our activity for today's lesson, ages 2 to 5. You have to look at the circle. It is written inside, sing, sing, sing. And the sing, sing, sing inside the big circle, you circle it. We have 10 inside. Ages 6 to 8. Write 10 favorite Sunday school songs you know. Our lesson for next week is lesson 3B, titled Happy Giving. God bless you, children. We have come to the end of our lesson. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Section 1 to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Romans chapter 12, verse 10. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. That your joy. girls and welcome to answer class i'm so excited about today's lesson it is all about how to be kind to our friends and our neighbors so let's get started the title for today's lesson is a change of mind mind from what from being selfish to kindness so what is kindness what does it mean to you? Kindness simply means being nice to people, being generous and be considerate. Seeing other people's names and do something about it without expecting anything in return. That will lead us to this Bible text, which can be found in the book of 2 Kings chapter 4 verses 8 to 17. Our friend from Birmingham will read a few verses. Second Kings chapter 4 verse 8 And it fell on a day that Elisha passed to Shunem, where was a great woman, and she constrained him to eat bread. And so it was, that as oft as he passed by, he turned in thither to eat bread. 14 And he said, What then is to be done for her? And the Gazi answered, Verily, she hath no child, and her husband is old. 17. And the woman conceived and bare a son at the season that Elijah had said unto her, according to the time of life. Would you like to be kind? Right. Let's have a look at this potato. It has horrible looking skin. Let's imagine this horrible looking skin is our selfishness and God is kind to us. And this God wants us to be kind to others. In order to be kind, this horrible looking skin needs to be stripped off. That is, we need to allow God to strip off the selfishness in us. In order to do that, we need to pray so that God can strip off the selfishness in our eyes. When that is done, we will be able to see the names of others. We will be able to see when people are struggling. We will be able to see when people are in needs. 
Do you know what? Most times, if we are kind to people, even if they are mean, they tend to be nice to us soon after. You remember in our lesson how Mr. Johnson hated Sadi and Miles, treated them badly, and stopped hiring his son from attending Sunday school with them. However, Sadi and Miles repay guilt for evil. When they saw someone trying to break into Mr. Johnson's house, they called the police to catch the burglar. And that act of kindness changed Mr. Johnson's mind. And he allowed Hayan to go back to Sunday school. Likewise, in our Bible text, we read how the Shunammite women show kindness to Elisha. Let's go straight to a live interview with a woman in Shunammite who has an amazing story to tell. Hello, lady. Could you please share with us your experience with Elisha? First question, how did you get to know Elisha? Elisha is a prophet of God. I met him years ago in my Hiram Koshune, and I invited him with his servant guests to stay with me in my house. We had dinner together, and I was kind to him. You said you were kind to him. What did you do to show your kindness to Prophet Elisha? I spoke to my husband. We built a small room and furnished it for Elisha so that he would have a place to stay whenever they traveled to my area. Did you do all that to obtain favor from Elisha? No, no, no. I never expected any favor or reward. I am satisfied and secure. I didn't give them the room and the food for my glory. It's for God's glory to show gratitude. How did Prophet Elisha feel after an heart of kindness towards him? Elisha was blessed by this heart of kindness and he requested to speak to me and he promised me a gift, a sin, which I thought I could never have because my husband is old. God rewarded me through Prophet Elisha <laughs> with God. With God, all things are possible. He has given me a son, a reward for being kind to my brother. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wow, did you just say that? It's an amazing story. Right. In the stories, Sadi and Mal and the woman of Shunim, they did what God is telling us to do by showing kindness. They gave without expecting a reward and God blessed them in a great way. In John chapter 3 verse 18 says, My little children, let us not slough in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. God wants us to put our love and kindness into action. By looking around, seeing people's need and do something about it without expecting a return. In your school, you can hold the door open for your teacher. Clear a mess you didn't make. Doesn't take you anything. Hang someone's coat if it's falling off the bag. Sharing your food with the needy. And... God will be proud of you. Remember, children, help me to show kindness. For our activity, you are to complete the sentences and answer the question in the column below. That is the end of our lesson. For next week, we're going to study lesson 63 titled, The Greatest of These. Shall we pray? Father Lord, we thank you for today's lesson. We appreciate you for priming Paul and answer classes. Father Lord, I said our thanks. 
Thank you, Jesus, for bringing our great sieges. Jesus, help us to understand your ways and help us to grow more in you. Give us the grace to put all that we've learned into actions by showing kindness to us, friends, and our neighbors. Thank you, Jesus, for answering our prayer, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you next week. Bye-bye.